The simple answer to why businesses need to invest in digital innovation and transformation is because it's, it's essential these days to maintaining uh, competitive advantage. Over the last couple of decades, there have been many businesses that have grown very, very quickly and have completely um, changed their whole, whole industries. You look at Google, you look at Amazon, uh, you look at the way that Apple has been changing things. Uh, you look at even things as simple as the, how the taxi industry has been disrupted by companies like Uber. All of these are due to digital innovation, digital technology starting to change the way that industries work. Uh, and that's, that's really, I mean, that pace of change um, sped up um, when the GFC hit. Um, it, changed, it sped up worldwide, um, a little bit less so in Australia. Um, what was happening there was that the Australian economy was reasonably buoyant um, and, the, and the, I suppose the business community was looking at what was happening in the rest of the world and realised that you know, well, our economy is not so bad, so let's take a little bit of a wait and see approach to innovation. Whereas the rest of the world were innovating essentially to survive, they had to. Uh, their traditional markets were being eroded, their competitive uh, advantages were being eroded and uh, they were seeing new businesses, uh, well they were seeing many businesses fall over and they were seeing new businesses start to compete with them in ways that they'd never seen before. So they had to innovate to survive. Uh, and now uh, the Australian and many Australian businesses have, have are starting to deal with the results of that. Take the retail industry, uh, it's been essentially starting to be uh, competed with, with businesses that are outside of the geographic boundaries. Non-traditional businesses such as e-commerce businesses are, are competing heavily with um, the strongholds of Australian retail. Um, and then if we have a look a little bit to the future, um, this pace of change is only going to speed up. We're dealing with with the massive amounts of customer data that are being developed and, and, and being, um, being able to be accessed at the moment, through, available through your mobile phone, through the apps that you deal with, through social networks. Uh, all of that data is starting to create a picture about who, who everybody is. Uh, at the moment, um, we're in a kind of a, a big data land grab where every business is trying to grab as much of that data as they can and use it in some way. But what's going to happen is that that model is probably going to break down and that customers themselves are going to have much more control over that data and be able to use it to achieve their, their objectives, which is going to give the customer a huge amount of power, um, much more than, than social media did. And, and that's, you know, businesses are still dealing with the, um, with the way that that has changed their, the way that they communicate with their customers. Then we're dealing with predictive analytics and this is as customers start to get control of their data they can add predictive analytics over top of it which are traditionally tools that only enterprise businesses have and that will allow them to start to you know essentially the things that we have in our pockets now things like Siri and you know Google Now and these kinds of things will start to become far smarter um, all of a sudden we'll look at, be looking at all of your data and be able to help you make very very um, um, smart decisions about how you manage your, your life. And then we have other technologies that start to mature uh, at the same time. Things like 3D printing, things like nanotech, um, things like biotech, but all of those are going to change the value change dramatically. If you take 3D printing for example, if you if you say, you know, well, you look at a, a shoe online at the moment, um, or you go, and, you know, traditionally you'd go and buy a shoe in a store. Now you can buy a shoe online. Soon you'll be able to look at that, decide what shoe you want, what colour you want, how you're going to customise it, and potentially have it printed um, at a local 3D printer near you, or or in your, a 3D printer in your own home. And that's going to completely change the way that value chains work. So essentially businesses now need to invest in digital innovation to be able to manage this pace of change. It's not necessarily about trying to be the next 3D printing business or um, the next, you know, the next, uh, I suppose, Google or Facebook. It's, it's about trying to say, how are you going to manage this pace of change? How are you going to communicate with your customers in new ways and how are you going to use the tools that are available to you to develop a competitive advantage in your industry?